<clears throat> Alright, this is SCMP Martial Arts at the end of a big day, a double header, one championship on Prime Video 5 and 1164. This man just closed it out by winning the the belt finally here. It's coming home. Strawweight MMA title, Jared Brooks. You've just been through a load of medicals. Uh, what yeah. took so long? You look pretty strong. Oh, uh, we had to wait to pee. Yeah, we, had, we had to do a drug test, yeah, so I had to wait to pee and just chugged like five bottles and then I was just talking to Josh back there the whole time, you know, we were just shooting the shit about the fight and it was pretty cool. Yeah, tell us, are you guys secretly friends and you just put all that on? Um, no, I mean, the, the animosity, you know, when, when you get in front of somebody that wants to fight you and, you know, you make eye contact, you know, there's there's animosity, there's real beef there. But, um, you know, the respect is there as well after the fight and that's earned inside of the circle. Yeah, it looks like you went straight over to Team Lakai. Uh, you, you spoke to all of them there. What, what were you saying? Just like, no beef, guys. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, much respect. I mean, I, I respect them and they have a hell of a fighter and they've had a hell of a squad the past, you know, 15 years. So uh, Mark Sangao and he's done a lot with his team. And, um, you know, this isn't the end with Joshua Posse out. We, that's what we were just talking about, too. So, um, yeah, I, I would love to, to give him another chance in, in Denver in the United States and he can come to my home turf and then we can we can see where it goes from there. All right, I'm gonna throw it to Tom. Yeah, man, lots lots to cover here. I think the one thing I was most excited to ask you about, in fact, somebody else just asked us to ask you this. Yeah. Uh, you know, we all know you can wrestle, but you went out and you boxed the hell out of him, man. Uh, how did that feel to kind of show off a new side of your game here? Yeah, I mean, I, I told you guys it's like 30% of, and, and it's still like less than what I'm capable of. It's just, you know, finding the confidence in the in the ring time and that's that's huge to me i just gotta make sure that i keep on building my confidence and, and building my hands and then building my wrestling but um kudos to joshua pasio as well i mean he made me use my hands and that's what i've been waiting for this whole time somebody to not be able to take down so i have to you know use my other tools but um but yeah that's the main thing uh shout out to coach glove Glove University. Shout out to my coach James Lee. He's been working with my hands for a while. And shout out to Justin Scoggins as well for helping me uh, with my movement and my striking. Yeah, you uh, you got a takedown in the first like 20 seconds or something. Yeah, and it looked like this was going to be a really really easy night for you. But then the takedowns got a little more difficult from there. Were you surprised that he was sort of able to to turn on the takedown defense in the second round there? He was tripping. Uh, he tripped in the first round, so that wasn't even like a like I would okay. say a necessarily a takedown. So I mean, if, if you train with any anybody that I train with, I take them down, right? And that's in the United States. So kudos to Joshua Paseo for you know having amazing takedown defense. That's like Jose Aldo level takedown defense. So I mean, I, yeah, I solidified my takedowns. Like I said. Um, with the spinning back kicks and stuff like that, I would take advantage of that. But he was super strong, super strong, and, and did a very good job to alleviate anything like I was trying to take him down with. So, uh, yeah, made me use my hands. But uh, like I said, shout out to uh, all of my striking coaches. Shout out to all the people that have been waiting for me to, to use my striking. And then uh, I wanted to ask you, well, Nick and I both wanted to ask you, you uh... You mentioned in the in the post fight interview with Mitch that, that this is a better home for you than the UFC. That kind yeah. of sparked another round of the UFC versus one championship debate. People were asking Chatri about it after the fact at the post fight press conference. So we were wondering, like, which which one championship champions do you think could beat UFC champions right now? I mean, I know uh, Renier De Ritter just you know got beat. That that was a really bad mm -hmm. fight, but I think that he could be AI. Uh, IA, my bad. Yeah. And um, I think that, um, oh boy, at 45, he, he fought Lineker. Oh, Andrade, yeah. Andrade, I think Andrade could definitely do it. Um, Demetrius, of course. You got Demetrius Johnson, the GOAT. Um, then at 55, who do, who do we have at 55? Lightweight. Yeah. Been a long day. Christian Lee. Christian Lee. Christian yeah. Lee, yeah. <laughs> Christian Lee. I mean, we could go tit for tat with the UFC, and I think that we are more than capable, and we have shown that um, we are just as good, if not better, than the UFC. Hell yeah, Nick. 
Well, you said, yeah, you feel like it's a better home from you. What, what kind of things make you feel that way? Is it just the environment? You it's, feel you can be yourself more? Yeah, it's the staff, and they they give me the proper tools and the proper environment to build myself. And, you know, other promotions, they haven't done that for me, and they haven't, you know, showed me loyalty. And I'm as loyal as a dog. Like, you will not get anything but loyalty from me. So if that is given to me, then I'm going to show it back tenfold. Um, Pauline's standing up. I think she wants us to leave. Uh, so maybe we should wrap it up. Tom, I'll, I'll throw it to you. Yeah, one more. You called out a superstar in the post-fight interview. You want to fight Demetrius Johnson. We asked Chatry about it. He seemed open to it. He wasn't quite sure if the timing was right right now, but he certainly seemed to like the idea at some point. How do you beat Demetrius Johnson? I mean, you got to beat that dude at his own game at the end of the day. And Demetrius is a very fast, a very agile, and he's super strong too. So um, I think I have a little bit more power on the feet though. And I think that I could show him things that he's never been involved with in the sport. I like the sound of that, man. Sure. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it too. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll leave it there because it's, it's already nearly one. It is about to go 1 a.m. So uh, thank you, Jared. For oh, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Congrats, you did it. <laughs> yeah, dude. You told us you would. <laughs> yeah. Should have done it easier, though. Oh, man. That was, so you made it fun for everybody. You know? yeah. uh, both you guys did. Really, it was great. For fun. sure.